Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Mail Drop Monday, and today we got three drops. Two are junk era basketball pickups that I need your feedback on. One is another Topps 2020 edition. Uh, so let's get right into it. In the dugout today is birthday boy Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. You know, the funny thing about Reggie Jackson is if you side-by-side side look at him with modern-day players, he looks tiny. Uh, but he was, you know, a big guy back in his era, uh, big power-hitting guy. But, you know, if he's standing next to Aaron Judge, he's going to look like a little kid. Uh, okay, so let's get into it. What I've got here are a couple pickups off of eBay of Junk Era Basketball. Uh, since we're all loving the last dance, I uh, was able to get a couple things for pretty good prices while prices are skyrocketing for basically all basketball. Um, so my question is, so here's one, and here's the other. Of course, pre-opened. Save us a couple precious seconds. And so we got here 1989 and 1990 Fleer rack packs. You know, I'm a sucker for a good rack pack. Now, my question to you, to all the fab subs out there, is should I rip, you know, like these two tomorrow for turn two? Uh, or should I save them for a later date? Uh, or maybe, like, rip these for turn two and put this in pick a pack or something? Rip it on whatever Wednesday. I'm just really not sure what to do with it. Uh, so let me know uh, in the comments. I will say, uh, I'm not sure we're going to hit any Michael Jordan in here. Uh, the hope is that we will. But I've noticed looking at eBay, a lot of these rack packs are available with Jordan on the front or the back like this. And so I think maybe the Coalition shenanigans are that, you know, if he's not on the front or the back, he, you're not going to get him. Uh, and so none of these, and those, you know, they're charging an arm and a leg to get those with Jordan on the front of the back. Not that we didn't get some good ones here, right? We got Magic Johnson sticker here on the back. I think it's a sticker. Um, you know, so we, we're, we're seeing, you know, Hall of Famers as well uh, in these, but we're not seeing MJ. And this one we got uh, Isaiah Thomas on the back. Is that? Oh, I, was, I thought it maybe was Bill Wennington, but... Oh, yeah, William Percy Wennington. For my uh, my fans of The Last Dance, I was like, who's Percy Wennington? Oh, it's just William. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So let me know what you think we should do with these. Rip them, save them, what have you. Uh, okay, let's get into the new 2020 edition. Project 2020... Good times. I was really excited for this one because I'm liking this guy's work. Uh, this is my first one I've picked up of him, I believe. And I will be getting his Derek Jeter for sure. All Jewish team goat Sandy Koufax, our starter every day of the eight breaks of Hanukkah. So we've got some hair in our... Looks like we've got a pube in our... Uh, our case here. I'm gonna have to take this sticker off uh, and and clean that up because I don't want to look at that nastiness. I don't know if you can see it there. I can't believe that. Yeah, right there. Look at that. What's going on, tops? It's like somebody's nasty pube in my card. Shenanigans. Anyway, uh, really love the artwork on this. This is Andrew Thiel. Uh, he's pretty big time. He's, as you can see here, multidisciplinary artist out of NYC. Um, he's worked with a lot of big, you know, people and, you know, music, fashion, nightlife. He's also worked for ESPN and ESPN Deportes. He does billboards, um, just all kinds of stuff. But his, his artistry, his painting and things like that, uh, is really cool. I really like it. He calls it collaged abstractions. Um, and they have a lot of texture. So if you go to his website, uh, so you, you know, he's on Instagram, but if you just Google him and you go to his website, he's got a great, you know, uh, bunch of areas where you can look at his work through paintings, through media ads, just everything he's got. And you can sort of see some of them with the texture. So he makes really big portraits with a lot of texture, which I love that kind of art. Um, and that I, I see that in these, even though these are cards, um, 
and I just really love the look of it. Uh, you know, he's bringing a lot of different stuff into it. You know, he he deals in multimedia, so some of his artwork will be, you know, like it'll have a McDonald's centric uh, element to it with like the arch, but he'll he'll be commenting on pop culture and society within the painting itself. I mean, it's really interesting stuff. And you can see he's got all these little things in here. All these little, like, writing and, you know, he's put. I can't even make out what that says. Lower box. Oh, yeah, it's really, like, ticket. I uh, also really like about this being a Kofax rookie card where we've got Ebbets Field down here and he's got the Brooklyn cap on. Uh, my dad was telling me a couple of years ago that Kofax was actually terrible uh, in Brooklyn and he did not really find his game until he got over to L.A. Uh, just, you know, that's really interesting. I don't. I wonder why. Maybe he was just young. Uh, needed more time, more seasoning, but, uh, you know, he became one of the all-time greats. So there you go. I'm very pleased with this one. Just a beauty of a card. Other than the pube in here that I'm going to take out, it looks really well-centered. Uh, very, very clean. Awesome. Really dig that. Well done, Andrew. Uh, all right, so there you go. Quick episode today. Let me know uh, what you think about these basketball rack packs and what we should do with them. There are a few people out there that did receive some goodies from me. I wonder if you've received them. So as always, you know, leave a little comment uh, if you got yours because uh, some of them are non-content creators. Just normal, all-around, good egg, fab subs. Uh, so leave a comment, everybody. Let me know what you thought of today's episode. Looking forward to reading those comments. So lay on that like button. Make sure you subscribe to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.